This is according to Ghana Elections Commissioner Vincent Alexander. According to Alexander, there is a possibility that these persons are dead, whether local or overseas, and as such are unable to vote. Our information is that there are about 300 something persons. We have no mechanism to determine if somebody dies overseas to take the person off the list. Those cards will not be collected. We have no mechanism, even locally if people die, they don't register their death to take the names off the list. So, so for me there's nothing alarming. We just need to deal with the issue to ensure you don't have these names hanging around to be manipulated in the electoral process. Alexander admitted that whether persons have identification cards to vote is not the issue. Rather, he noted that the issue is whether they are alive and whether their names can be used for fraudulent purposes. I think from observation, from observation, we don't have that large number of people who don't use ID cards. That's one. But secondly, whether or not they've done it in the past, we have a, made an effort to say to these people, come and uplift your cards. A non-response, one has to take a non-response as a problem. Not merely somebody don't want to uplift their ID card. Not, we've written to them. We've published their names. Come uplift your ID card. We are trying to determine these people's existence more or less. It's not the ID card is the issue. Initially, Chicom had announced that approximately 20,000 persons who did not collect ID cards over the past few years would be prevented from voting. After much criticism from sections of society, however, this decision was reversed in favor of those persons being allowed to vote. It was announced, however, that these persons would be placed on a list separate from the voters' list in the polling station. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News.